In June 2019, I bought my first laptop as the MacBook Air, which I still love till date. The operating system, the hardware, and etc. was so supportive that I learned video editing without any assistance. Some time later, the laptop was taken by my mom due to the factors listed above. I was in need of a laptop urgently. I searched through many websites, forums, YouTube videos, etc. for a thin and light Windows laptop which could run intensive software under budget, but I couldn't find one. I came across this laptop, the HP Pavilion Gaming, and thought that it would be great. Just a trade-off would be losing the portability and the battery life. And then I went ahead with it. So this is my review of the HP Pavilion Gaming laptop after one year. On Flipkart and Amazon, this product is given more than 4 stars and it had big numbers on paper and was for $57,999. It seemed like a great bang for the buck. Opening the box, I got the charger and the laptop itself wrapped in plastic. Yeah, I did not record it one year ago. Some cards and paperwork were also included in the box packing, therefore the unboxing experience was kinda good. When I saw the laptop, it gave me a wow effect. It looked gorgeous and capable. Its speaker grill looked cool with its crisscross design and it flowed with the keyboard. The trackpad was okay sized but when I used it, I got to know the first disappointing part of the laptop. And from here onwards, the disappointing laptop journey starts. Now let's talk about the ports. Well, it has plenty of ports and I don't think I need to name all of them. All of the ports include USB-A ports, USB-C port, SD card slot, Ethernet connector, HDMI and more. Just name the name of the port and you get it. Great selection of ports in this laptop. I was impressed on this side. Display, ah, it was a very 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 disappointing factor of this laptop. It claimed that its brightness was 300 nits but that's just when it is plugged into the power. While it's disconnected, it isn't any bright and the color becomes very weird, very disappointing. My old MacBook Air 2017 with a 1440p display is better than this. After a couple of days, I started feeling this laptop is crazy thick and humongous, very hard to carry and is kind of obnoxious for professionals. More on that later in the video. For the look and feel, I will give it 4 out of 10 after 1 year. It's just obnoxious. On paper, this laptop is packed with Ryzen 5, also known as Core i7 Killer and Nvidia GTX 1650. They both offer great value on paper, but in real life, oh boy, Ryzen 5 is always above 50%. The laptop performed slow even for small tasks such as Zoom calls. I had to format my laptop a couple of times to make it usable and Windows 11 on it was a nightmare. 8GB RAM is offered with the laptop which is honestly not enough for a person like me. I think that the reason behind the majority of problems in this laptop was 8GB of RAM on which only 6GB was usable as 2GB was taken by the graphics card. Therefore buy an extra 8GB RAM stick and upgrade the laptop to 16GB and this will make it go fine. Let me tell you about the use case which I was buying this laptop for. The use case which I was buying this laptop for was programming, video editing, photo editing, running virtual machines using Zoom and Android Studio and let me tell you that all of this was a pain in the laptop. If you wanna run simple stuff like HTML and basic CSS with a local server, then this laptop will serve you kind of good. But when trying to make ExpressJS server on this laptop with MongoDB, Compass, Postman, VS Code and other non-intensive but RAM consuming software is running, it becomes a nightmare using this. RAM is always above 6 GB. SSD in the laptop is kind of good and it did not give me any problems as such. You can see the single core score performance on this laptop was around 500 and multi-core score was around 2000 which is kind of okay for a gaming laptop but if I compare this with the M1 MacBook Air I recently bought it throws this laptop away from the ground it's literally 5 times faster in benchmark and it is better in all aspects for professionals and is just 15,000 rupees more expensive than this as I said before I hate this laptop's looks and its performance is not adequate for the money. It's just great for gaming I believe. I haven't tried much games on it and I can't judge because I'm not a gamer. I even hate the battery of this laptop. It's just 3500 mAh and it isn't fine. 
not even 2 to 3 hours of battery backup is given on some adequate task. Let us come back to the trackpad and let me tell you that it was kind of plasticky and frictious. Is that even a word? If not, yeah, I made them up. After some time, a kind of coating was coming out of the trackpad, worsening the experience. Comparing it again with the MacBook Air, it had a great trackpad till date and no such coating was coming out of that laptop. Now let us talk about the keyboard. The keyboard was a kinda good. It felt a bit like a mechanical keyboard which I think gamers will love. I don't like number pad on laptops so that was the only issue on this laptop. All in all, I would like to say that don't buy this, it's a nightmare for professional work. Buy the M1 MacBook Air by adding a couple of extra bucks. I hope I was able to tell my opinion about the laptop and uh, you'll be able to make a good decision. Thanks for watching.